Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to get started we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type anything, because there's the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived here on our site of Usitility, in which we have a meticulous explanation on the way to download and install Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG on PC. We browse down a bit and then click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we land here on the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will use to play Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG on the PC. As you can discover here we get several pros of using this emulator. Then, we will proceed to download the Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on the button. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we have to do is to launch the executable file. Okay, then we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I reduce the browser to see the installation software better. The installation software is very simple. It consists of a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path really does. We purely simply click on it. Therefore we see that we have here the path in which the emulator is going to be installed. If we would you like to change this folder we are required to click on the browse option. Therefore we opt for another directory and set up the emulator wherever we would like. I am going to keep it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I click on install. Great. The installation starts and it is going to commence with the download of all these megabytes that happens to be visible on the computer screen. The time you download it, it may be more or less megabytes. The download speed may go faster or slower, based on your web access and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Right now they are working quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been launched successfully. As you will notice, down here, there is a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it has reached the end, the emulator can be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been launched, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can discover, it has created a couple of software icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be only one we are concerned with. At any time when we would like to run Sprite Fantasia, MMORPG on the desktop or laptop, we double-click on this particular icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the next step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. Here we are required to log on. At present when we are on this page, we must definitely accomplish this next step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. So we just click on, Sign In. At this point it says, Checking Info. It can once in a while get blocked in, Checking Info, and it fails to move ahead. In that case, you can try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it'll usually be repaired. At this point we are going to enter our email address and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. 
For example, you can utilize the same exact email you are using at the moment in your YouTube account. So I am going to provide my data and I will return when I have accomplished it. That's all. Data entered. Discover Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We will consent to them all by pressing, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it checked and this will produce a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We click accept. The Google Play Store is launched by default and completely on its own. To set up the game, we would need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on this app icon indicated green colored. Currently that we are on the desktop of the emulator for Android, we notice that we have there the install video game option. We click or double-click on the button. At this point we have the game. Let's just click here on the install choice that I'm showing now in green color. This will start the installation. Straight away it would download and install the game. It normally takes a bit of time or it may just be almost immediate. It again all will depend on on the connection to the internet. It has already completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on this option that I'm highlighting in green. If you want to launch Sprite Fantasia MMORPG for the very first time. I am already on the emulator desktop and as a consequence we're preparing to simply click on the new Sprite Fantasia. MMORPG software icon which was created. That game is launched for the first time. So there we have it, I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume of that emulator. It's here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we will switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. That is the first one, we then click on this particular icon which I'm showing in green color. Then the screen is maximized, having one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Supposing that we desire to enjoy the application using all the screen, we select that app icon. And we'd already be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in full screen function. To leave the complete screen functionality, press the F11 key. And therefore we would already play in regular screen setting. From now, I am going to show you the computer keys mapping that is surprisingly appealing. That step we will be in a position to play the game application more effortlessly. The very first thing is to click on this app icon. And right now there you will be able to make the recommended controls. I will let the default settings, though if you desire to adjust this, you may very well do it with no problem. As you can notice, the emulator is completely in our language. Once in a while it occurs that the emulator is presented in the wrong language, for instance, in Mandarin. So to set it in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. So here within many other controls, we simply click on the language, drop down. We are able to decide on the language we wish, German, Chinese, and so on. As soon as the language is determined, we would save, the emulator will restart, and the game, the next time we launch it, would as well be in the opted for language. At this time, there is another detail that we have to take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email reporting that a different device has been associated with this Google account. It will likely ask us if we're the people who have connected that device. Of course, we shouldn't worry, as the emulator is simulating a Google Android electronic device. And then to see which device is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. So we go here to the, model, option. And now we observe that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the video user demo. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that you thought it was interesting. If so, allow it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, questions or suggestions, let them in the comment box below. You also can leave a remark on my Twitch channel. I actually do live streams every now and then, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click any of those video tutorials that are showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming online videos. Bye!